This morning, if you felt rumbling overnight or maybe saw a flash in the sky, it may have been from the launch at the Vandenberg Air Force Base. Crews test launching an unarmed Miniman 3 intercontinental ballistic missile. KSPY News reporter Asia Gore joins us live with more on the launch and its purpose. Good morning, Asia. Good morning, Dustin and Christina. The launch window was set between midnight and 6 a.m. today, and with optimal weather conditions out there, the missile actually launched at 1233 this morning. I don't want 33. This is the first test launch on the Western Range since the 30th Space Wing became part of the United States Space Force. This launch, what's called a developmental test, differs from the more routine operational testing because it uses a spare missile from storage to validate the flight worthiness of new or replacement components. Developmental testing provides valuable data to Air Force Global Strike Command. It tests procedures and airmen from the initial mission planning to the final weapons employment phases. This is the only place where you can do that test, and so we take a lot of pride in being able to accomplish that, um, not only for the, for the national uh, strategic element of it, but also for the test and uh, support that the team gets to, to develop better, more capable, more reliable systems. These tests are not related to any real-world events. Stage two ignition. It was designed to test an upgraded fuse on a Mark 21 warhead. Power distribution unit. Airmen received parts for this missile about five months in advance. In this test, they monitored the GPS and telemetry on the Minuteman 3. Analysts will look at the readings from gauges on board the missile as well as from sensors along the missile's flight path to determine its functionality. That whole process could take about a month. Live in the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSPY News. Thanks, Asia. And launch calendars are built three to five years in advance. Planning for this individual launch started roughly six months to a year ago.